Going back to the draft, as I said, surprising that Cloud9 gave it away. Mid lane, Loda in some trouble. Kinetic Field, Thunder Strike, more than enough damage as Fata zaps him down. It's Misery that gets credit for the kill. And Loda will get that first class ticket back to the well. Uh, but Fata will be, be another fight that breaks out. Piecat hasted up, has an arrow in one second. Misery will take the Nightmare off. Now the arrow connects. They actually have the damage to find the kill on the Disruptor, though. Pycat has a leap, still hasted. Bane goes down, compliments the lightning, and leap to the high ground. We'll make it a one for one as they trade supports. I think Alliance's game plan here with just getting a fast blink on Axe, they're probably just going to rotate lanes later and use the Axe as a ganking tool then as Big Chen Daddy. just going to take the Nightmare off with a creep. Yeah, it's maybe probably going to be fine. Trouble, but not really the ideal Never target mind. for Alliance to go for. Arrow, Willie off the mark. They still get the kill there, but now Envy coming around the backside. Whirling Axe is on three. Ake barely gets off the shallow grave. Buys him some time. Shadow Wave just not enough. Pycat goes down. Lightning from Zoom to soften him up even more. Mad falls, glimpse back onto the Dazzle. He'll fall as well. It's Cloud9 coming out big in the top lane. This line of farm, we mentioned he was a little lackluster on that front. Now the smoke gets reeled from Alliance. They jump onto Fata. They set up for an easy arrow, and the slam dunk finds a kill. Stage for Alliance did not go as they hoped, apart from the Axe, who did great. He's going to jump mid. On to Moosery. They'll cut off his head and hang it on the wall. And, he and then get another item later on if he wants. Mid lane, Mad could find himself in a sticky situation. Fata comes in to initiate, and the follow-up from Misery is there, but Mad will wander away, glimpse back into the Static Storm. Pycat's here with the double damage. That'll repel these heroes, and they'll actually keep their Bane alive. Arrow flies through, will be off the mark. Meanwhile, in the uh, top lane, Loda trying to defend this push, but Envy and Big Daddy, they're going to claim two towers off this. They've got a great spread of creeps, and the tower oh, nice will denied. go down. Yeah, nicely denied by the Dro Ranger, but... That was so expensive for Alliance. They tried it to their own jungle again and, and like trying that. to control. And well, as far lane. as fights go, you're very mobile. It's very easy to find angles, especially when your Dagon levels up. You can easily find angles to cast it, and a surprise burst out of nowhere can be really useful. As Fata does claim Ak. Ak. <laughs> Ake. My boy Ak. My boy Ak. Uh oh, and, glimpse oh. back onto Pycat. Leap out. Yeah, It'll this be a all tower right. for now sure. This tier one tower was just kidding. Maybe not. Ball. I don't even know. All right, it's not a tower. <laughs> Still just farming like a madman. As he goes up to the top lane with his Alpha Wolf behind. Here we go, initiation. The Moonlight Shadow gets revealed as they bring down Big Daddy. Static Storm comes out to try and break it up a little bit. Alliance only get a Singleton pickoff. Easily counterable, like a gem or a Sentry Ward can easily get the job done. And you're doing it against a Zeus, not to forget. Well, Nikwa now initiates on two, but there's some follow-up damage. Misery will go down, gets chopped. Fiend's Grip out on Fata. Envy getting low. Remember, he has the Aegis. Fata, can he live? The mech keeps him alive a little bit longer, but still can't survive the onslaught. Mad in the front lines, caught inside of the kinetic field, but the Shadow oh, those will calls. keep him safe. The Berserker's call from Nikwa catches three. Alliance finally finding a fight that they needed. Envy will be isolated by the Nightmare. All of his friends are getting picked apart. Freddy Krueger tearing through his dreams as he tries to man up onto Loda. Shallow Grave comes out, and Envy will fall. That's the Aegis of the Immortal. Can they kill him again? The wolf. <laughs> the wolf finishes him off. Envy comes back to life. Pie Cat on the run. Whirling axes. Ooh. Oh, just falls short. But That's about as good a fight as Alliance could oh. have hoped for. Less than ideal. A little bit less than ideal there, but still finding decent farm. Bone 7 now up to level 3 Dagon and Boots of Travel. So he's a lot more mobile. Oh, there's a dire sentry ward. It reveals the moonlight shadow. Alliance in a little bit of trouble here. They get caught unaware. Nikwa gets glimpsed back. Ake will go down first. Mad goes one way, and it's Alliance just trying to delta split out. Nikwa does get finished off. Loda on the run, but they're in hot pursuit. The Dro can't run fast enough. Run, pretty lady, run. She'll spawn some spiderlings out of her corpse as Cloud9 find a three for nil. Range barracks, it's all about the melee. Alliance feeling the pressure here. Nikwa coming up in about 10 seconds. Arrow flies through, sidestep by Envy, but he walks back into it. Oh, no. Do they have the damage to bring him down, though, with only a few heroes alive? And it looks like it's a resounding no. Dagon almost finishes off Ake, but he barely lives, able to mech up, and he'll head back to the well. So Like a Zeus for the ultimate to get information. And Broodmother, arguably one of the absolute best scouts in the game. Yeah, here we go. Initiation, Nikwa force stabs in, but only catches Misery, not your ideal target. Fiend's Grip comes out onto Envy, but he survives through it. Mad just gets chopped down straight away. Envy doesn't have an Aegis here, getting very low. Mech comes in, he stays alive a bit longer than planned. A one for three is now Pycat isolated. They'll find a kill on Fata. He commits suicide with the Bloodstone, but this is bad news bears for Alliance. A two for four with Pycat, one hit from death. He's going to walk into this dire dance party and get zapped down for good measure. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be ugly. 
There's one Zeusel that's going to set up a glimpse on Aki. And he will have a shallow grave. That'll keep him safe for now, but the Thunderstrike might be enough to just finish him off after the grave. Nope, he's got the mech as well as a heal, but now Loda BKBs he to get to. the E-Blade off. But that's your ten or nine second BKB charge, and it's on cooldown for over a minute. Troll Warlord caught inside of the Fiend's grip. Remember, he's the one with the Aegis, but Static Storm is there to break it up. Mad gets blown up. Moonlight Shadow used by Alliance. Bane in the grave. All of a sudden, it's a 4v5. Bottom lane of Barracks destroyed. And one lane of Barracks standing between Cloud9 and Victory. They're going to do this in style. They want the Tier 4s. Style points for Cloud9 here. Going for the Tier 4s right away. And this should be the final fight for Alliance. They've got to make what little hold they can here. They're not even going to do it. That's it. GG is called. PyCat taps out. And it is Cloud9 that will take this series.